Thank you. Hey there, we are back at it again, getting straight to the topic. Businesses are growing, industries are booming, and people's lifestyles are changing. And we want more, and the best that we can get our hands on. And the same thing with cars, right? We want something big, something luxurious, something that's comfortable, something that's exclusive, and of course, something that stands out. And without a doubt, something that's expensive. And at 35 lakhs, this ain't cheap. So for 35 lakhs, what do you get on the outside of this car? Well, for starters, like all Indian taste, you get a, a stripy chrome grille uh, with a thicker strip of chrome on the top uh, that runs into the lamp. So giving it a sort of chromey eyebrow look, I guess. Um, next of all are those lamps. Uh, beautiful dual barrel LED lamps. Uh, now those lamps have a unique feature to them that you get in like expensive cars nowadays. Uh, they are like a human eye basically. They move up and down and left and right, northeast, northwest. You get the point. Basically to get a better view of what's in front of you. You know, like to see like a dog at the side of the road or a deer jumping ahead of you. Uh, yeah, moving on to the next, you have your front sensors. You have a chrome strip down there. You have uh, very powerful halogen fog lamps. So that I think the driver can see insects down on the road pretty clear so that he doesn't run over them. Now if you want to know what a car should look like from the side, this is your answer right here. A nice long hood in the front, a nice boot jutting out not, not too far behind. Uh, the whole car should sit down low. This is how cars should be. Uh, not something with a high boot and a weird shape. But anyway, coming specifically to this car right now, what has this got on the side? You have more chrome, you know why. Uh, so you have chrome down there, near the window lines, you got a nice uh, blacked out A and B pillar or B pillar, I guess. Uh, you got an auto folding mirror with LED side indicators. That's what they call it. You have different terms nowadays, so I'm not gonna break my head on that. Uh, you got a nice striking line up the top, whereas you, you do get curves also, like you have to come a bit closer or see it up personal. So you get a curve that juts out as well as a curve that juts in down below. But that's not the only curve that this car has got. The curves also go onto the wheels. Now, Volkswagen have given this concave wheels. Not a segment first, but you rarely get concave wheels on Indian cars nowadays. So, a very nice touch there. They are 17 inch rims wrapped in 215 rubber. So, a well done thing there by Volkswagen. Moving on to the back. So coming to the back of this car, folks have kept it nice and simple, nothing fancy, just pure, elegant, classic styling. I like that. Uh, beautiful LED tail lamps that really come alive in the dark. Uh, I like this cool feature, there's a camera in the logo that when you're reversing, it just flips and the camera pops out. Uh, you get a chrome strip at the bottom, so you get chrome all around this car, you know why. Uh, another cool feature about this car is this. And then, uh, an even more interesting thing, because I'm too lazy, of course, we, we are all lazy. So you just, and it goes down. Why? Because we don't have hands. And we don't like to put force, I guess. So that's the exterior of this car. Let's go hop on the inside and I'll let uh, Ruben boil to death. Thank you. Bode, are you serious? Francis, you must be out of your mind. First things first, when you get in the interior, you are greeted by this leather and wooden dash which has a strip of aluminium that runs below it and through the AC vents. To top it all up, it also gets this piano finish and that's not all. You also get a clock in the center. Now that's not a Hublot or a 7 Friday or one of those expensive clocks but it does make you feel that you're sitting in something really, really expensive and something really nice. Now talking to you about the interior quality of this car, now you find a lot of soft touch leather that you use all around the car. You find it on the dash, you find it on the center console, on the door handle and even on the door pads. Now you also get this wooden insert that is 
matte in finish and not glossy that makes it look fake so it really makes it looks nice and makes it look real now in terms of the chrome and the piano black finish it is given at its best it's not too much it's not too less it's just perfect and now when you spend this much amount of money on a car you really want things to be perfect and this car really makes it do that so now talking to you about the features on this car so first things first uh, you have this seat massager right here that makes you feel like you're in a masseur on long drives you also have a 360 degree camera right here that you have different views right around the place so this is the aerial view right here you also have a auto parking function talking about the screen right here it is a huge tab like display it is not as big as a Tesla but thankfully Tesla isn't there in India so this will do Apart from that, you have ventilated seats right here, so you have cooled as well as heat, and you have a combination of both. Now, the first in cars feature in this car is the dynamic chassis control, DCC. Now, this makes it feel like you have three cars in one. So, let us go through the modes in this car. So, one is the eco mode, wherein it gives you more mileage. Then, you have the comfort mode, wherein your suspension becomes softer and your steering as well becomes softer. You have a normal mode as well over here wherein it is a blend of both stiffness and softness so it's just perfect then you have a sports mode right here that is makes the car really aggressive you have your rev counts going all the way to the red line and then shifting you have a suspension that becomes stiffer and your steering as well becomes stiffer now in case you want to customize the view on the car to drive for you you have an individual mode now in the individual mode you can customize the way you want the dynamic chassis control to respond you the customize the way you want steering to respond as well as the drive so these are some of the key features that are there available on the Passat so the rest of features would be listed on the screen in front of you Yes, so I am back behind the wheel and uh, I decided to get a haircut because I like the interior so much. It made me feel a little luxurious so I thought like maybe I should be a bit decent looking when I'm driving him around. So yeah, this is me for a new look. And uh, you're talking about how the car feels. Give me a minute, there are rumblers in front. So yeah, talking about the car and what it has is a 2 litre diesel. I know it doesn't sound that nice when I say a diesel engine. I would love if uh, loved it if Volkswagen would have given it the VR6, uh, you know, to keep it smooth, punchier, and when the car's uh, of this size, you know, to get things going. But uh, the 2 liter diesel does a very good job, uh, gets things moving. There's a good punch to the engine, the torque is enormous, the pull is decent, and uh, you have the different driving modes. So. I'll just pause for a second because we have another set of rumblers coming. So, one, two, three. Yes. Now you see how comfortable the car sits. Like, yeah, you do get a fair bit of sun because these rumblers are really high, but it's very comfortable in here. Now, throwing the car in comfort mode. Uh, Ruben, can I get your views on how the car rides in comfort mode? It's very, very smooth. And if you see right here, I am sitting in the lap of luxury. I don't feel the shifting neither do I feel the road bumps even though we traveled over these rumblers I really didn't feel that much compared to anything else that goes over that exactly so thank you for those views uh, like I said uh, the comfort level inside this car is really really very well you can literally compare it to the big names in the game you know like the A4 the C class and all and this is throwing down its competition to that so yeah Volkswagen have done a very good job with that hats off to you all Volkswagen uh, now the different the different driving modes so now the first in class uh, that Ruben told you all we have the DCC that's the dynamic uh, driving something you know uh, a lot control. of chassis control thank you uh, a lot of weird terms nowadays in the automotive market so what it does is it uh, stiffens up everything okay now that's the first in class you don't really get it in the competition so yeah 
for for this 35 lakhs that you pay you're getting a lot so coming back to that uh, coming back to the driving mode we yeah it stiffens up the suspension so trust me when i say when once you throw it in sport mode or oh, that dc scan stuff like that it really really goes so stiff that it turns into a sports car now yes when you look on, when you look at this car on the outside and you know you be all oh god it's so comfortable and luxurious and blah 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 you know do you really want to throw this thing around corners and all that but trust me you know once in a while you always want to step on it get on it you know you stop at the red lights and somebody just wants to get going this car will surprise anyone standing beside it and uh, I think uh, again a job well done there. The sport mode, it uh, yeah, you can really take up, uh, take it up to the red line. So the shifts are, you know, the shifts are late. It's very fast. The DSC, you know, the uh, reputation that the DSC holds. So I'm really surprised that you get a lot of different things, you know, that you would expect in uh, like uh, specific cars, like, you know, you know, like in a sports car, you expect it, you expect the throttle response to be sharp and all that. And like, you know, in comfort, in, in cars that are more comfortable, you know, it's all about comfort and all that. But here you're getting different things under, in like one roof, so to speak. So putting this in sport mode, trust me, this thing just keeps pulling and pulling and you really feel like you're sitting in a sports car you don't really uh, know that you're sitting in something that's as comfortable as it's supposed to be uh, i'm going to slow things down for a bit because there are people on the road and i don't want to end up in a crash but uh, yeah speaking on how the car drives in sport mode like i said it transforms into a sports car so sh the shifting is late uh, taken care uh, by the dsc the dsc is doing a fabulous job in this uh, shifts right up till the one second rumblers stiffness in sport mode so the thing is yeah it shifts right up to 5000 rpm now i know you would say doing sport mode in a diesel uh, doesn't really feel nice you would want to do that you know in a petrol engine like uh, say a v6 the vr6 that the volkswagen brand has but uh, trust me the two liter in this does a, a pretty decent a, a pretty decent job one second oh uh, uh, yeah, coming coming back to the drive. Uh, Ruben, how uh, how do you feel in the back? How do you feel? It really this. does make me feel like I'm in the Passat. It makes me feel I'm sitting in an R8. Now, I know the R8 doesn't have rear seats, but the feeling is such. It just throws me back into the seat right now. Francis, you need to slow down. It's, yes, it's fine. We understand this. We understand it. Okay, so I, I've, I've toned things down a bit and it's uh, back into sitting like a nice, comfortable, luxurious uh, Rolls Royce, maybe, Ruben? Do you think so? Yes, it does make me feel like that, Francis. Okay, uh, yeah, finishing off the drive. Uh, like I said, it's it's like an all-in-one package that you get with this, with all the driving modes. Uh, the drive is fabulous. It's smooth when you want it to be smooth. It's... Uh, it's a track machine even though it doesn't look like one when you want it to be so Volkswagen again uh, that good job that you all have done here with this so it's really up there with the competition you if uh, if not better I would say so yes um, I'll we'll hop into the back with Ruben so that he can tell you about uh, the seating arrangements at the back and what do you get there I'm on really rough roads right now so you can see me bouncing about uh, let me throw it in comfort mode so and we feel like we are on a couch now sitting by the seaside and uh, yeah Ruben over to you so now getting in the rear of this car so the first thing I notice is I have these comfortable seats right here wherein I have good amount of knee room decent amount of headroom right here the only complaint I have here is the under tie support. Now, people of my height, I'm around 6 feet tall, is not that great. So, apart from that, they are really comfortable. I have this armrest as well over here, where I can keep my phone or I can keep a glass as well over here. I also have this sun blinds over here, so I can adjust it, put it up or down to keep me away from the sun. I also have a rear electronic sun blind at the back that gets controlled from the front over there. I also have my AC temperature setting over here. I have a 12 volt charging slot here and a laptop charging slot as well. So I can do my pretty much all my work on the go.
final take on this magnificent beauty. For the price that it's priced at, I would say it's one of the best cars in its segment. It has way more features than any of the cars in its segment right now. And you have three cars in one. Absolutely. So according to me, it's a bang for your buck. Absolutely, I have to agree with you on that. I think the only problem right now would be that people in India would see the badge. I think people should really put that aside and see the product for what it really is because I think Volkswagen has pulled off a miracle here and a very good product by them. So I think uh, we wrap up with that and I think we should go and enjoy the Goan Sun. Let's go.